If you guys are interested in buying some in-game items for Fallout 76, check out Easy NPC and also use code FLOPPERS to get yourself a 5% discount, links in the description. How's it going everybody? My name is JJ Floppers. Welcome back to another Fallout video guys. Today, we're going to be going over the best and updated methods for you to be able to farm yourself as much XP as you could possibly want. And with that, of course, when you farm XP, you get scores. So I'm going to be showing you two methods that are honestly the best in the game for leveling up. They're quite useful and I personally use them very often when I'm trying to gain easy XP. But now let's dive into the requirements for this because there are going to be some and these actually will benefit you, allow you to get more XP and in general just aid you in this farm or in this grind. So first of all, when it comes to your builds, you want to prioritize the stat intelligence because the more intelligence you have, the more XP you're going to be rewarded. So as baseline, I recommend you have it at 10, but if you can, preferably have it at 15, or you can just copy the build I'm running here. Now, of course, as you can see, I have 15 in my intelligence. And of course, when it comes to legendary perks, you only want to prioritize one. The other ones are just bonuses and additional ones, but the one you want to prioritize, of course, being intelligence. If you can, you want to max it out because it's just going to give you more intelligence and you want to stack that up you want to get as much of it as possible but now moving on to consumables you want to eat or just consume anything that will give you an increase in xp and intelligence personally when i farm xp the stuff i usually run is cranberry relish brain bombs berry mentos and of course lunch boxes and that one is the main one you want to have at least four lunch boxes because that's just going to give you an 100 percent boost in xp and it's just super worth it because you're going to be getting double xp non-stop or well, at least for now but if you have more you know don't pop all of them every hour just keep popping four and you're going to be able to farm yourself double xp for as long as you have lunch boxes and also armor wise if you have a full set of unyielding armor and you're a bloody build that is perfect because you can just lower your health and get additional stats because unyielding armor of course increases your stats when you guys are low on health so that is a gold mine in my opinion having a set of that farming xp is just super helpful and in general is really useful now let's go over to the location that we're going to be farming now as an updated version there's only going to be one spot that i recommend you guys farm and i'm going to show you two methods of doing this spot the second method is going to allow you to actually expand anywhere on the map because it's really overpowered but the first one being going to westick yes i know this is probably the most common area to farm but it still is the best location to farm it never changed it just really is really good for xp because the super mutants that they give you a lot of xp and they're not really too hard to kill and also keep in mind the higher level you are the higher level they're going to be and in return you're going to be getting more xp so when it's double xp in general this is probably the best location to farm but without double xp even if you just post on the stuff that i just mentioned you're still going to be gaining a good amount of xp so you want to come here you want to clear this entire area out you want to kill all the enemies outside you want to head inside do the exact same thing just execute every single enemy there's a bunch of rooms a bunch of enemies you want to kill them now there is a way of being able to actually farm this without having to leave the lobby and this will probably only be doable for some of you specifically those who actually done the mission for this area when the actual update for this area first came out so if you've done the quest base for this area as early as the dlc has come out you're going to be able to go down this elevator Wait about 10 20 seconds oh yeah keep in mind there's going to be enemies there so you want to kill them wait about 10 20 seconds go back up and the enemies should have respawned if they haven't respawned then unfortunately you are going to have to leave the lobby and rejoin i'm not too sure exactly how the respawn works now but previously when i was doing it if you did the mission for this area early on you were able to actually you know have this be an actual respawn area but now it's been patched so only some of you will have the ability to actually be able to go down the elevator and have the enemies respawn but if you don't have the ability just leave the lobby rejoin and keep farming this it's really simple it's honestly the best place to farm for xp now there is a second method that can be done in this area and in my opinion it is the best one now there is one quite specific requirement for you to have a specific item and it being the nuke grenade now keep in mind you can do this with any other grenade but if you want to be really efficient the nuke grenade is probably the best one to use for this now there are going to be some perk requirements for this the first one being is having to acquire the grenade perk any perception tree you want to get yourself fireproof in endurance and then you also want to get the demolition expert in intelligence tree these perks combined allow you to do this and as you can see on the screen the explosion radius on these grenades is insanely big like you can kill enemies through multiple walls and it is probably the quickest way 
to clear out any indoor location like you can see i'm just throwing these nuka grenades inside of west egg right at the spawn area and somehow i'm killing multiple enemies through multiple walls it's overpowered it's just something that is crazy <laughs> broken i don't know why it's the thing but it's really useful and i definitely recommend you guys take advantage of this now you are able to do this with other frags like i said but the explosion radius isn't going to be the same and you won't be able to kill multiple enemies for rolls but you still are going to do you know a good amount of damage it's still worth trying it but nuka grenades are the best and like i said this part or this method doesn't just apply to the indoors you can go outside to any location and just start throwing frags i went to the white spring golf course bang 10,000 xp i cleared out the entire area with two frags it's crazy overpowered i just love using this method for clearing out areas really quickly and just gaining easy xp it's really simple it's not too difficult and it's generally something you guys should consider testing out for yourself and just having a little bit of fun but that's going to be all for the methods farming these are probably the best ones to use in 2020 since you know fallout is still a game that you can farm xp and a lot of you out there are probably new players if you want if you maybe just start a new character try these methods out they're quite useful i personally still use them on my, on my main character being level 700 plus so you know it's still valuable it's still worth it but yeah if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section below and just have a phenomenal day enjoy these methods and peace out